loved your last question. I love, like, just talk to me about using the AI and looking over your shoulder guiltily. Tell that story. Um, I think the law world is probably uh, less willing to adopt these sorts of technologies. Um, and everything is very much focused on your own brain power, and that's kind of the currency in law. So in a world where we're suddenly translating that into you type a few buttons, you control C some inform or control P some information, um, that really devalues brain power, I guess, on one view. Um, so do you see AI as an opportunity? Um, Yes, but only if you are capable of doing the work yourself. That's when I think it's a valuable tool. And there are parts of the law, like I don't necessarily work in this, but document management and uh, discovery processes, for example, they can be extensive and beyond kind of human power to do all of it. And we use a lot of AI in that. And boring? And extremely boring, <laughs> yes. Uh, that's why I don't do that law. No, um, uh, we use a lot of AI in that space and that really does help. So I think there is definitely a place for it in the law. I'm not yet sure that I'm necessarily uh, shivering in my boots. Uh, one day, maybe, but uh, given I've seen it hallucinate some cases myself, I'm not really sure we're there yet. Now, I just want to get sort of hands up for, are we feeling like AI is going to be good for us? Hands up. Wow. So, hands up if you're a bit worried that it's going to ruin your life. That's a minority, though, and that's interesting. And I've got to ask, why are you worried about that? Um, it's kind of incredible things are happening so fast, and, I mean, I agree with some of the... We're not ready for it. I, yeah, I'm looking forward to some new laws and I want even just with uni, like there's nothing yet to dictate what's happening, what's going to happen, how we should use this. And so, yeah, scary. <laughs> and Okay, so put your hand up if you're one of those optimistic people. Oh, there was too many of you. I can't choose them. <laughs> Who really wants to say something? Stand up. <laughs> I'll come to you next. Can you just grab that mic off? <laughs> that was a power move, man. It's under tape. Yes, please, go ahead. Tape. Um, when, when she was saying the, like, university just occurred to me now, it's like the exam time. Uh, we've had time to prepare. We're not as prepared, but it's not final. So the next uh, few years, maybe we have time to get it right in terms of so social uh, regulations, conversations, including everybody. Do you think everybody. there should be regulation? You know that thing that we heard from Michael that we love a rule. Is that good? I mean, I love the a rule. American guy. I think made a lot of good points that for us like to think about. Um, and Even I though we don't agree with him. Uh, <laughs> I, I personally agree, but collectively, I think we have an opportunity to get it right. But if we just continue the way we've been doing the technology in general, uh, we're, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And someone over here was excited. <laughs> I like to reward excitement. That's, that's, yes. Excited about the future, right? Yeah. Uh, well, as, uh, as they were saying, it's, it's really a tool. It has the potential to really improve a lot of the, well, I, I personally want to go into astrophysics. I've been I've been listening to talks that people are saying the only way they can do the work to discover these new type these these new objects is because they can feed all the data mm. into a neural network and it spits out these ones are special. It's it's going to help. It's it has a certain risk, as they were saying. It need it needs to have some control, but it's gonna it's gonna change the world. It's gonna it's gonna help. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I am on the more worrisome side for AI because I, I myself, I love software development. So I and I've been looking. What about the jobs that might be destroyed by AI, AI before they can be replaced by AI? Yes, that transition so phase. Yeah. A lot of like so in software development, a lot of programs are monetized by the fact they're closed source, so you can't actually go in and see what the code is inside of them. AI tools are now being able to be developed so they can actually create what's called deobfuscation deobfuscation, which allows people to go in and actually edit the source of those apps, which merely will limit the ability for big companies to be able to monetize these, which will create a lot, lot harder for the software industry to mm. get jobs and create more software. Mm. That's a good point. Now, someone's made something for us. I think there's been some 
technology used to promote our program? What's going on here? Who's made what? Explain it. Oh, uh, okay, no, you've got to tell me. What is this? It's just a little simple NFC tag um, with a vinyl sticker of the Q&A logo. Yeah. And um, when you tap it onto the back of a phone, it lets you jump to a website as well. So it's like a kind of like URL, but um, the practical technology of this is quite endless in that um, while it is just a chip, it does a lot more than just a chip. For example, um, the same basic technology exists in your smart card as well. So well, I just keep it simple. No, I like sense. this. So this was your way of helping us get people come to our show. Oh, definitely, because I think it's <laughs> like it's democracy in action, as always. And that's what we're here for. <laughs> Pretty much. And, and making people work for us for free. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Can can I have one? What does it need? So it's on it, like, like all power card in Sydney. Yeah. You, you touch it, and then it brings up the website. Um, oh. And then so you're going to register for next week, you're going to fly to Sydney? And then, yes. 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 And then it brings up the website. Yeah. You can also update more information on it. So people Amazing. Can on the discussion. Love this. Thank you. <laughs> Love that. All right. That's all we have time for tonight. You have been, don't tell the other audiences, but my favourite audience so far. So much enthusiasm. Thank you.